Hello there. Welcome in the first video for NG Draft. This is me. I am Hussam Al Kurd. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to install both Ruby on Rails and Redmine into Windows 7 machine. Redmine is an open source web application that provides defining projects, including its tasks and follow it up, and also set the responsible staff for them. On the other hand, it let the staff to find their specified tasks to follow it up and update them, which provide the management with the full feedback about the project and it is scheduling plan. So what we are waiting for, let's get started. To start installing the steps, firstly, we open Redmine site redmine.org and we can find some information about Redmine discussing feature and its documents. We can check it out later. Click on download. Find that the last version for the current time is 2.3.1 which we are going to install it. There is many ways to install Redmine like using third-party applications, like the ones here, Turnkey and Bitnami, which can automatically install Redmine. But there is still some conflicts with some versions of Windows 7. So we are going to uninstall it manually. We click on Ruby Fork to download the last version and then download it. By downloading Redmine version, back to Redmine download page and then click on Redmine install. This page includes Redmine installing steps. We find there is some specific requirements to run Redmine. Contains Ruby on Rails and supported database management with specific versions like we see MySQL. Postgres, a Microsoft Server, and SQLite. Also, there is some libraries to install. So, our plan to download and prepare everything for each installing step. We are going to use MySQL as database management system. If it is not exist on your Windows, we open MySQL site mysql.com and then click on downloads and then Ruby to community server and then click download and then click on windows version and then many things just to start my download after download database management and install it we open railsinstaller.org, which are going to install Ruby on Rails on our Windows and save many installing steps. We download it by clicking on Windows Ruby 1.9. And then we start install Rails by clicking on Rails Installer. We prefer to use C as main path for all installs. When we finish, Rails Installer create two folders in the install path. The first one include Rails and its libraries files and the other one is sites. We moving the downloaded Redmine version after incomplete state into sites folder. Moreover, we need to download the connector for MySQL and Ruby using the link below. And after that, we move live MySQL to DLL file into bin folder inside Ruby 4. So there is still one library we need to uninstall, which is Image Magic, that is responsible for processing images. I 
another time we back into install page and click on image magic link and then we click on windows and download the binary version for 32 bit we install it on our windows there is an important step we have to take it into account is that set the install path into C image magic without any slashes or spaces. After we have finished downloading all the requirements, we start directly into installing the process. As we said before, we are going to use MySQL as database management system. We copy all the SQL statement from the install page that will create the database and its user. And then we run MySQL Workbench for execute our query or any other program. We paste the query and execute it. For a quick reason, we will use the same user and password provided in the syntax. Of course, you can change it as you want. We find that database has been created. Then we go to database.yml.example file. Inside the folder that we have moved, which is Redmine folder, inside the sites folder. And then we change the production database section in the file. As we have created before and save it. We don't forget to rename our file into database.yml. Now we are going to uninstall the libraries we already downloaded before run the direct install. We just open Ruby on Rails command prompt. If you open it for the first time, it will ask you to enter your email and password. Just put any and it will move the cursor into sites folder. We move to Redmine folder using DOS command cd redmine 2.3.1 as we rename it inside the sites folder and then we put the below command for install image magic as we said before we do not add slashes into the path after that it will show successfully installed. After install image magic, we run the command for install MySQL connector on Google. And then we install the bundler using jam install bundler. It will take some time, but it have to show successful message at the end. When it finish, we write a set of commands First, we execute the token command rack generate token. Then we set the rails into production environment using the command 
set trails environment. Finally, we run the database command in install. At this step, we have finished install Redmine. We just have to run the server by using the command below. Wait until the server is ready and then we open localhost with port 3000 in the browser and the redmine will show up. We can sign in for the first time using login, admin and password. Important notes we have to take into account. Each time we want to run Redmine, we must sure that Ruby on Rails server is running. Otherwise, we write the command for running the Ruby on Rails server. Also, if you face a problem in localhost and IP, you can solve it using the way that is provided in the end of the install page. If there is any question, you can write it in the comment section. I will provide more videos on this channel. So if you are interesting, just subscribe. Thank you.